All right then, hello guys. So I guess today we're gonna be doing the last sequel map challenge from uh, from I guess the OWASP SKF Labs. This one's gonna be called uh, Sequel Light Blind. And this one's a bit different from the other ones for the most part. Because in this one, it's the same thing. Same, same sequel ejection, but this time it looks like if I were to add a quotation mark like I usually do, Oh, I still get errors, but like if I try going outside the range of it, I'll just get 404 errors or errors that like I can't see. Then I think if I do like one union select uh, all from I guess uh, users. My bad, I'm kind of sick. We get errors of some sort. And I guess like this challenge is saying it's blind sequel light. So that means we won't be able to actually see our commands and stuff or our output. We will able to see whatever is coming out of the data. So it's, it's more like guessing our way through it and figuring out certain stuff. So uh, after reading a write up and understanding it a bit, it looks like what they did was just first enumerate to see it. So, one, two, that still works. Three, oh, and four. That's when you get four, four errors. So, this is when things start going bad once you reach out of the index. So, how they did it first is firstly, they uh, first they start by checking like every one of them, like I was doing right now. And then we just need to check sure if there's like a SQL interaction. So what they did was just try like simple stuff like or one equals one, which is true. And see like no error popped out. So we know that works. Now, if you were to switch this to one, one or equals two, that still kind of works or Oh wait, I guess this doesn't result in an error. But... Oh, I guess because the first one is true, so it kind of makes sense. But what if we try add, which makes it false? We get 404. So once we get a false, like a false statement, it returns 404 error. So I guess that's the intuition they're trying to get us to go with. So, so I guess we need to determine which conditions are true or false for this application. So what we can do is set up a query in which you could do something like this, select select case when one equals one, which is true. And if that's the case, if it's true, then one appears. And else, if it's false, four appears, which is going to give us a 404 error. So if we do this, this is true. But if we change this and set it to something false, one equals two, and we know that's false, we get a 404. So this tells us if the query that we're entering inside our SQL database is true or false, or if it's there or not, I guess, in a way, in short term. So what we can do is set up a query to see if certain table names exist so we select a case when when uh the table name is equal to i guess let's just put like a random like hello then one then one if it's true then we we'll just we won't get nothing and if it's false we'll get a 404 error then from SQLite master and this should and then uh, where type equals table oh from else oh else and
might be just throwing it off. So that case when table name equals hello then one else for and from SQL master where type well might be this <coughs> we get a 404 so that means this table name doesn't exist so this just takes a little bit of guessing so trial and error so I don't know what's a classic table name like I guess something that holds user so let's try user 404 that doesn't exist we could try users and see look so that works for the most part so I guess when it comes to blind SQL injection it's more like trial and error trying different things for the most part but what we could do is do a little shortcut so there's a tool called SQL map which is allows us to like automate this kind of work so if we go do something like this where like the SQL injection could happen see like one two so this is where the SQL injection is happening we could use a tool called SQL map which is which does like SQL injection for us so, so how we do it is first put the map SQL map and do dash u for URL insert your URL and then just do uh, tables because that's what we want to extract the tables table names and if we were to do this oh SQL I put P by accident and if we were to do this it will automate this stuff for us so yes yes Now it's doing everything right now. This might take a while. That's pretty good. So I was able to retrieve page and users. So let's try retrieving stuff right here. So like they retrieve two things page and users but what we want is I guess users so we can just clear this and then I guess to specify certain things we just do table slash t for the table we put users and they should extract everything from users Huh. I guess it did it without it. Let's try it up. Oh, wait. Cat. Cat blog. <laughs> Nothing came out of it. That's weird. I guess since that didn't work, we just tried dump. I don't like doing this one because this one just dumps out everything, but yes. Oh, right here. I guess we're just dumping everything now. And see. Uh, no, nah, we don't really care. So I guess, well, well, I guess we'll use dump next time, but this was basically was inside the database. We were able to dump it. So I guess SQL map makes things, our life a little bit easier as like hackers or penetration testers. I guess the only reason it's kind of bad to using this is because uh, it causes a lot of traffic to the system, which will cause it to, I guess, break down or like, make the service go down which is not something we want to do as i guess as an ethical hacker but for the most part 
this this usually does the work for us so i guess that's about it peace